Hello, my name is Declan O'Flaherty and in today's marketing video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create call to action buttons inside your own PowerPoint program. So usually what I would do, I actually have a, um, a logo creator, a software program that I create my call to action buttons in, but I actually find PowerPoint is actually much better and if you have PowerPoint then it's completely free. So, and it's not just call to action buttons that you can create, you can create many, many different things. But today I'm going to show you how to create a call to action buttons, a button, and I'm going to create it in less than one minute. It's, that's how quickly it's going to be. So, if I go to home and create a new slide, and then go to insert, we're looking for shapes here, see in the toolbar? Click on that, a drop down menu will appear, and then we get down to rectangles. And usually a call to action button is rounded rectangle. So I'll click on that and then just drag my button which is about there and then if we go into see over here drawing tools format you can format it and see over here then it has shape fill so we want to fill that shape usually they're yellow we can shape effects so we can bevel it and there we go just a nice call to action button now we need to put some text into it so if we go to insert again and then we're looking for text box just click on it once then click inside the button and then type in whatever you want so get instant access and just make that a little bit bigger with the home here and we'll give it again up to drawing tools and format because we don't want to leave it like that that won't work we need to get the, the text more exciting so in drawing tools and the format and then you see here word styles so if we drop down menu there and um, we'll drop down, you can use any one you want to, so have a look through them, test a few different ones out. I'm gonna pick this one here down the bottom. We click on that, and there's your get instant access button. We'll just make that a little bit bigger. And that's it. It'll actually go with a different color. So if we go to insert again, or home, and I'll go in and I'll use navy. And there you go, get instant access button. Now I know that's a very, very simple button, but that took me less than a minute to create. And if you play it around with it a little bit more, you can do many, many different things. You can have reflections underneath it. You can bevel the actual text itself. You can do many, many different things. You can actually even take more shapes. So if you go into insert and back into shapes, and you can down here and you can take arrows. So you can take an arrow out and put an arrow here or something. Or, you know, obviously you wouldn't put it there, but, you know, you can put it whatever you want and play around with it. And remember, it's not just for get instant access buttons. You can actually create many, many different buttons. And you can create even headers for your website and stuff like that so that's how to create a get instant access button inside powerpoint and as i said if you spend a little bit more time you can make a much better one than that and so before we go actually i'm going to show you another little thing that's actually great so create another type of button and i'll give you an example of what kind of button i'm going to create now but you know when you land on a sales page and they have these testimonials on the sales page and they're usually inside a colored border or you might as well say it's even a colored button sort of so um and they will have the picture and then that the, they'll have the actual testimony of the person who's actually used the program that they're selling or whatever you know and it's usually in different colors well you can actually create them yourself and so powerpoint and put them into your blog posts just to make your blog posts or your articles pop a little bit and i'll give you an example of how that would work so again we'll go into insert and we're going to click on shapes and as I said, you can do many, many different shapes here, but I'm going to use the same shape again, which is the rounded rectangle. This time I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Like so. Um, as a color, you can have many different colors, obviously. We're going to format again. And I'm going to pick something a little bit different. Actually, I might do red. Yeah, red seems nice. So now what we need to do is put some text in here. So if we're going to insert again, and then over to text box and then click on it then i can actually put some text in here i'm actually going to take a little bit of text here i'll copy that so this could be a testimonial it could be a quote that you want to put on your website that you want to, to pop um sorry let me get this again highlight that in there and then just paste your text in and then there you go and you could have a picture there you could have a heading here you could have whatever you want the person's name down here it's just to give you an example of what it could look like and you could put those inside your website so you could have a couple of paragraphs and then you could have something like this that will explain an important point and remember you can only download these as pictures 
So you'll have something like this explaining the point and point and then you'll have more text and then you could have another one of these in a different colour and it can just make your articles pop a little bit more, you know, you can put them on sales pages, you can put them in squeeze pages and stuff like that. So the world's your oyster, so just play around with it and think of the amount of different things. If you're creative, you can actually come up with some great things, you can create headers and everything for your websites and this. So let's do something else with the text here and make it a little bit more sexy looking. So with the format again, and again word styles, and here we have text effects. So you can even bevel that text, which I don't know whether that would look good. No, I didn't think so. You can have it glowing. And that, that pops a little bit, doesn't it? And that's it, you can have a little bit of a heading in here, over the top here, and then just your quote or whatever it is. And that's how you create things like that. And if you look at that, the get instant access button and then this button here, or this um, background fill, you, you can actually understand that you can create some cracking things in here. And if you take your time, you can create some really good headers for your website. You can create, you could have a product that you're probably promoting and you know on your, your sidebar and your website dashboard and you have the 250 by 250 image there, you can create images inside here or even one of these bevels, one of these bevels uh, images or bubbles or whatever you want to call them and just have some sexy text in there promoting your product and you could even put a picture of your product in there so there's many many different things you do and this is only inside powerpoint so no software program needed or anything like that once you have powerpoint you're ready to go so that's how you do that and if you want to export these then you have to you can only export them as pictures obviously so you would just right click and then if you scroll down it has save as picture and then that's it you would just save as picture and boom, that's it, done. And I don't know where I saved it. I'm not going looking for it now. But uh, yeah, and then obviously just upload it to your dashboard and just paste it in as a picture. So that's how you create um, get instant access, ex uh, get instant access buttons. Um, you can create many different things, as I said. And I hope you got some value out of this video. This is one of many videos I'll be creating over the next 30 days. I'm actually doing a 30 day challenge where I'm going to be creating a video every single day for the next 30 days. So if you want to watch these videos or find out some great marketing tips, then it's MVT Tuts. It's not MVT Tuts, it's marketingvideotuts.us. And yes, I went for the .us instead of .com because I don't plan on ranking this website in the search engines as I don't with any of my websites. So thank you for coming through to watch this video. I hope you got some value out of it. So go start creating your buttons. I've been Declan O'Flaherty and have a fantastic day. All the best.